Okay, so I had some progress yesterday on Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi 400. So I've got it on my little Kingston A2 card. So let's pop that in and boot it up. So you can see UEFI boot starts to work now. If I try to press escape though, I can't go into any settings. There you go, starting up now. Okay, so you can see I get to this screen, and if we go in closer, you can see that my Ethernet is working because it has network support, uh, but the keyboard doesn't work. And I've plugged in the dongle also for my Logitech keyboard, but that also doesn't work. So no mouse, no keyboard support. I've got a separate mouse plugged in. I've got this one plugged in. So I don't know quite why that won't work, um, but it's, it's nice to see that it's got closer. Uh, I could try Bluetooth. I think that's what I'll try. So if I shut this down, unfortunately I'm gonna to have to just switch it off, and I'm gonna boot Windows 10 on my Pi 4, and then enable a Bluetooth keyboard, and hopefully that will let me get back in. So let's shut that down. I can eject that from my Pi 400 now that I've got a working SD card slot and I can pop it into my Pi 4 and boot from that. Okay, I think I've waited long enough. It doesn't seem to be booting with this modification on the Pi 4 now. So I'm gonna to have to revert it back to as it was and I'll show that in Twister OS. Okay, so I'm in Twister OS now uh, and if I go to my community tab, just to show you where this tip came from. So I missed this because I do a lot of my managing on my YouTube on my iPad, but the iPad doesn't support the community tab, which is weird because iPhone does. So it was one of the comments on this. Uh, it came from, yeah, it came from this one. So uh, what are the chances for Pi 400 to run WOR? And uh, Ray Anch uh, left this comment, go check this UEFI out. Uh, and it's a GitHub, so if you click on it, it's, uh, it doesn't have any information in here at all, but it does have a download. So uh, if you click on that file, you can then download it, and uh, I've already downloaded it to my desktop. So let's go to my desktop now. So I've got one for the Pi 4, uh, which is the original one that was created in my Windows 10 video, and I've got one for the Pi 400. So I need to put the Pi 4 one back in. So let's put the SD card into the slot, and you can see here, boot comes up. And you're literally just deleting the RPI EFI FD file in here. So delete that. And then from this folder, the one that says Pi 4, copy that, and pop it into here. So that now will be compatible with the Pi 4, you reverse it, so you put the new one in if you want to use it on the Pi 400. So if I delete that and put the Pi 400 one in, then it will boot on the Pi 400. So let's shut down Twister OS and reboot with the SD card in the Pi 4. So it's booting up with the different UEFI, looking good. Okay, so let's try the keyboard now. Okay, so let's type in Bluetooth, click on that. It's only just started up, so it's going to be a bit slower. Yeah, it's, it's paired to my uh, Bose speaker, so I know this is one of the ones where I've enabled the Bluetooth fix. So let's click on Add Bluetooth Device and Bluetooth. Switch on my little tiny keyboard and press and hold the Bluetooth button to enable pairing. Yeah, so it's shown up. Let's click on that. Connected. And I'm using the little tiny trackpad on this keyboard. I'll take a photo of it so you can see what it looks like. So I'll shut this down and I'll reboot in Twister OS. Okay, so I'm in Twister OS, so let's put that SD card into the SD card slot and then go into the boot partition. This is how you would do the fix normally. Uh, so this is the boot partition of a working Windows 10 on Pi 4 with the method I used in my previous video. Uh, so I need the Pi 400 RPI EFI, which was downloaded from the GitHub, and I need to basically replace this one. So let's delete that one and pop that in there. And that's it. So now we can reboot on the Pi 400 and fingers crossed, Bluetooth will start working and I can get into Windows 10 on the Pi 400. May not work. 
Okay, so it's booting up. It's just gone past the UEFI boot and uh, I've got my little tiny keyboard charging up here because uh, it was pretty much flat. So again, it's booted fine from the Pi 400. So let's switch on my keyboard. See the little blue light momentarily comes on. Oh, oh has it done something? No, I wonder if Bluetooth isn't enabled at this stage. Yeah, because I've got no mouse or keyboard. I mean, it could be that it's using a different uh, Bluetooth chip in there, and that might be why it's not working. Oh well, so I've made some progress, uh, but not all the way. I could try and enable the RAM limitation. I think that had some effect on USBs in the past. So I've got to get to work, so I'm going to have to leave it there. But I uh, hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.